I want to farm the helmet, but never interact with betrayal. How do I do Katarina? Um, all you do is the first thing to understand is you're going to need a lot of Jun. Um, and the best way to do that, there's two ways, right? I'm going to, I'm going to tell you because it's how I did it, but I don't recommend it because it's so, uh, tedious, but you can reset the waypoint at foothills. Doesn't have to be foothills, but it does have to be an act nine or 10. Uh, but you can reset the waypoint in foothills for betrayal. You'll get a quest notification like this. It'll say like, find the syndicate research member. Now it only works if you're within 10 levels of the zone. So if you're like level 65, you can do it. If you're like level 75, you won't be able to do it. And yeah, you literally just keep resetting. It, it can take minutes per attempt, but it's like a really easy way to get access to Katarina and Betrayal without having to even do maps. That's, that's what I did. It was also a good source of Veiled gear, which is the big thing. But anyway, skipping past that, skipping past that. The other thing you can do is just go do it the normal way, which is in maps. So if you tap exclamation mark Atlas and go to the first link, that first link is a Jun Atlas. What that means is that it will give you a lots of uh, research. Uh, so it'll give you lots of syndicate juice. And so all you need to do is you see these uh, leader blokes here, these Four are the ones that give you this uh, intelligence, right? So intelligence is like the progression bar, right? When it hits 100%, you can run it. And so once this bar reaches 100%, it'll you can interrogate them after doing the safe house to get intelligence for this one. So all you need to know, all you need to know is you want these four, pretty much everyone actually, you want all of these, but especially these four to have higher ranks. So you rank up these four to get this one. Oh, actually, I'll give you some like quick tips as well. Hello. Don't um, don't ever remove, <clears throat> don't ever remove all rivalries. And if you see lots of red and green lines, your betrayal board is good. If you see no lines or yellow lines, your betrayal board needs to be like worked on. It will reset after every cat arena, so you're never gonna get like full red. But you want as many relationships as possible. That means they're going more likely to like appear with each other. Um, so never click remove all rivalries. Rank them up, especially the leaders. And the last tip I'll give you is if you do this in tier three maps or lower, your Mind safe houses now. should be tier three, which means and your Katarina will be tier, tier three. Uh, what will happen if you do low tier safe houses is only two items can drop: the Katarina flask and the diadem. If you do it in higher tier maps, she's easier as well. She's easier as well, yeah. Um, but if you do her at higher tier maps, what can happen is um, she can drop things like the shield and the chest and the staff, which you don't want. You only want the, the helmet. I mean, you do want the other ones too, but you know, you want the helmet, you want the helmet, right? Mine now. Now, the tricky thing though that I just said, and this is the part that's gonna catch you up, is in order to get the atlas points to do the strategy you're gonna need to do higher tier maps right so what's gonna happen is your first katarina or two are probably gonna be high tier if you do, if you do any betrayal at all in higher tier maps so you really want to make sure you're not doing any betrayal at all but yeah, if you if you do it's gonna take a little bit of time to fix it that's all